What's up, everybody? We're here. I'm here with Daniel, actually, hey. right? Yeah. And we're in the Smash Lab at the Nug Smasher Factory. Um, and today we want to talk to you about the the new software on the touchscreen units. Um, it's a brand new software version that's come out. If you haven't upgraded it, we're going to show you how to upgrade it today, um, uh, what to watch out for, what not to do, um, what to do. But I have to tell you guys, if you haven't uh, uh, seen or heard about the new software, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it has Turp files built into it uh, that's, that's hooked up live. So when you do input something on your app, it shows up here. You can also take uh, the recipes from Turp files and uh, uh, import them into your recipe right. yeah. settings so you can just do the smash right from mm -hmm. your actual last one or the best settings that you had before so it's really a bitchin tool right yeah love the turn yeah. files really easy. on it there's a lot of intuitive new intuitive things too on the new software guys like you can turn uh the uh plate heaters off just by uh touching the the temperature here um really bitchin so there's all kinds of built-in stuff to the software, right? Am I missing? A lot of the stuff? under the hood stuff that we did too that really won't be noticeable right away, but you know, more stable heating, just better algorithms all around, just really an optimization we already had. Sure. So a lot of under the hood stuff too. Really, really yeah. bitching. And I understand it's, it's uh, we got a lot of room to grow in the future. That's like right, yeah. We expand access, some, yes, exactly some right. Uh, remote, uh, even the uh, recovery, automatic recovery, there's a problem that sure. can recover. That's sure, right. yeah. we, we all know that we don't want to send a machine back for a computer problem and it does happen. So um, we have something built in uh for that so um yes. stay tuned this this machine has already been updated of course uh some of the things to to note um if you're going to update a machine it has to be uh, uh on an actual wi-fi network that's right? correct yes so that's a key thing you have mm -hmm. to be connected to a wi-fi network um some of the issues connected to a wi-fi network some of the problems that you may have is special characters in the network name yes um machines don't like that so much so that's something if you're having a hard time connecting to the network if your network name is, you know, uh, hashtag, uh, you know, two, three, four, you know, exclamation point, um, dash, you might have an issue. So um, you want to take some of the, maybe make a new network for it on your network that doesn't have the dashes in it. Right? That's usually the easiest way to do it, um, yeah. And it'll find it right away and then you can connect to it that way. Um, some of the things while they're doing an update that they shouldn't do? Yes, yeah, so especially on, on machines that are on 2.4, you don't want to shut down at any point. You want to wait for the machine to automatically reboot itself. And depending on your internet connection, it may take some time for that to happen. And on the older versions, there's no indicator, so you don't really know what's you know where it stage is at. So it's important not to turn it off in the middle of that. Um, there's really only one time it can really hurt, but if you're in that wrong timing, just right, you can really damage your sure. SD card and, and have a problem there. So, sure. Yeah. So, so you the key is to let it reboot itself. Let it do its thing. Just don't do it for get a while. impatient. Don't yeah. unplug it. Don't unplug <laughs> it. Let it do its thing. It yeah. will reboot eventually. It will either fail downloading and, and reboot itself anyway, or it will complete the download and sure. update. A lot of the issues we have is when the power has been interrupted yes, during an update. During an update. Um, Correct. So the new version has an update bar built in. It does. So it tells you the status. Actually, right? we can kind of show it off if you want to see just a little sure, demo. Even though yeah. it's already on, you know, yeah. we're on our own network here, I can actually still update it. So I'll show you, this looks a little different on this version. There's a progress bar now. Okay. So you so, get an indicator of where it's at, you know, at least a general sense of where it's at basically. So you can see update in progress, 29%. Um, and this does take a few minutes to do, but it, does. Um, it basically uh, downloads the newer version of the software. Yep. Makes a copy and image of it on the, on the actual uh, uh, computer hard drive, if mm -hmm. you will. Yes. And um, then it downloads that. Uh, and, and activates it as a new system software, correct? New thing as well that we do is well, we download the update um, and we make your restore as the most recent backup. So it doesn't go all the way back to the very beginning anymore. Okay. It goes back to the current version. So lots of updates. And we don't the overwrite software. the settings either. So all the PID settings, all that stays in place too. So we've made a, a, lot, of, like a lot of under the hood changes to this system. If you guys haven't seen the, the IQ, it's absolutely incredible. You can play with the software online. There's a demo on, at nugsmasher.com. On the IQ page or the home page, there's a live demo. You just click the button and it'll show you the IQ screen. Um, you'll be able to play with all the settings on it. Um, everything but the plates yeah. you can play with. So yeah. um, you can walk through all of that and, and see how the new software works. It's actually at nugsmasher.com. So check that out. It's pretty cool. Um, if you get, Especially if you get it on an iPad or something like that, because you can actually, it feels like the actual uh, IQ screen. So it does. Um, right? Yep. Yeah. It's a good analog for it's, it for It sure. really does. So, yeah doesn't really work on a phone because it's too small for all the information. Yeah. 
but an iPad or the computer screen, you can really see it nicely. So if you go to a device that doesn't have it, it tells you on the screen what size to use screen that'll work okay. for this deal. I have a message yeah. on there. So if you go there, you'll see that. Now you yeah. mentioned if you have 2.4, what, what does that mean? I'll show you over here. So like, for example, this machine, you want to look, look, look here. Yeah, but, let's take a look at this one. Yeah. So this is a Pro Touch, and this is on 2.4 currently. So okay, so that's the older version. That's the latest version of 2.0 that we have out there, basically. Sure. So if you're up to date on your on updates, you most likely have a 2.4 on so your that's machine. that's our last version. That's our last version, okay, basically. Very yep, exactly right. So just so all you all you out there, I know that uh, you know we talk in this lingo because we do, we live all these machines, but um, 2.4 is the last version. You'd up, be upgrading that to the 3.1. That's correct. Version, yes. correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and this machine hasn't been upgraded, so we should upgrade it, right? Yeah, definitely. So, you know, we check to make sure that it does have a Wi-Fi connection, and it does. It's it's connected to the network, right? Um, all that we have to really do is make sure that happens and hit update, right? Yeah. Yes. And basically, it will uh, download the software uh, and actually update uh, the unit now. And then you'll have a newer version like we just saw on right. the IQ. Like we're saying, this doesn't have any progress, so that just let it do its thing. Depending on your internet connection, it may take longer or shorter. You can see this has no TERP files or anything no. on it. So let's see what happens. And this is where people get impatient and, and where we've added the, the status bar, you know, will really help. But it doesn't show the status on there. So, you know, a lot of people unplug it or think it's not working or, you know, reset Wi-Fi or restore at this point. Um, don't just be patient with it. Let it sit there. It could take up to 15 minutes sometimes if you're, if you're, uh, maybe even longer. If you're a little longer, if your network is slow. So something um, else to say too. Our, our 3.0 builds. Well, they're about the same size, but they're, they're, since they have 2.0, they've been bigger downloads. So sure. you know, it can take a little longer sometimes, depending on your internet connection. Okay, sure. very good. Yeah. So half an hour. So we're working on reducing that too. 3.0 reduces other systems that allow us to make updates faster in the future. So we don't include all the files together doing stuff like that. Yeah, I tell you what, man. I mean, I love using the machine, the software. Um, it's very intuitive. It's been in, uh, they made a lot of changes. It's been, we've been testing it for the last six weeks or so. And um, been a lot of glitches and mm -hmm. things that were sure. going wrong. And and uh, even on the first few shipments, we've had, we have some machines out there uh, uh, that have the, uh, uh, new software in it. We've been able to get some feedback and we've actually uh, made some changes. Yes, uh, we're on 3.02 point zero two. it's restarted yeah. now. So yeah, yeah, that's where we're at. So where are we at So now? two more versions after 3.0 is where we're at now. So we released it at 3.0 and then two more versions is out, which usually happens right after the release because um, we get a lot of customer feedback, a lot of use. So sure. um, pretty cool there. But, yeah. but anyway, we fixed those. So if you're one of those customers that had a problem, make sure you are updating. Um, and um, the new versions are looking great and we'll continue to work through any bugs or issues and we're here working on them all the time so uh, if there's anything like that make sure you let us know well now you can see this new new version so you can see it adds actually terp files to the screen there it is um really nice you uh, see if some of the one of my favorite intuitive fe features is being able to turn these plates on and off i mean i just think that's great how you guys added simple that. right yeah well as a user you know i like to be able to do that real quick and easy instead of turn the temp you go away settings and all that yeah yeah so if i'm going from you know like an extraction down to an isolation or something like that you know um you got to cool the temp down quick so mm -hmm. uh it's it's a really nice feature so Anyhow, uh, anything we left out on this, the new version 3.1? That's 3 for the update itself, that's really the most important information. If you're gonna update this thing, wait it out, make sure it goes through the process, but you know, this is the benefit of getting that new controller software. And Touches has the software as well. Turf Falls is not in good and great, but you do all the benefits of the new controller and the new underlying benefits as well, so. And remember, if there's ever a question, guys, uh, customer service is here seven days a week for you, 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, uh, Mountain Standard Time, Arizona time at our factory. They're here at our factory. They, they come in uh, right here where we build the machines. And if you're having an issue with this, hit us up. Uh, if you're, you know, don't have a question, uh, hit, you know, before you start pressing buttons, hit us up. And uh, we're trying to make it more, more uh, I don't want to say foolproof, but. Uh, Just simpler for the user. Yeah, more, more simple for yeah. the user. So, exactly. um, but anyhow, if there's a question, hit us up. It might save us shipping all the way back and uh, back again. So, um, and, but we're always here to, to answer your questions. And if, if customer service doesn't know the answer, um, it'll escalate to Daniel or his team or me, and we'll, we'll get the answer for you right away. So, uh, appreciate all you guys. Appreciate your business so much. And uh, appreciate you uh, using Nug Smashers as your choice. And, this machine is uh, an actual industrial build machine. It, it, it is made for, for hours and hours and days and days of use. So um, great Nug Smasher Pro Touch, huh? Yes. Anyway, 
Thank you guys. Anything that I've left out? I think that's it. Thank you guys. Like, subscribe, um, and until next time.